Hey guys, what's up? Leon here from Leon's iPhone Help, and today I'm gonna show you my top 10 seated weeks for this month, January. So, I'll be doing a brand new series starting from today, from this month, where I'll be showing you my top 10 seated weeks for the month. This week is called OXO Tree, so you can launch OXO by just double pressing the home button. And as you can see, OXO is a great multitasking app. So, if you have any media playing, for instance like music, you can skip it or anything like that down there. So if for instance you, wanna, you can close it from there and you can also open it from there. You can also launch it by swiping up there. And here we can see the apps that we are running in the background. Let's say we want to go to the settings app, you just move it there and just lift your finger. We also get some um, options for the brightness and the volume. And we also get the airplay mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb and rotate on and off. You can also close it by just doing that. You could also head to the home by pressing that home button. This tweak is called App Box. So, whenever you slide to the right, you get a set of icons and apps. So, let's go to App Store, and it doesn't require us to unlock our device. So, it takes us automatically the app. Let's try it with the calculator this time. So, it opens up once again without the need of us unlocking our device. This tweak is called AppHead, and what AppHead really does is that it brings your multitasking experience on your iPhone to the next level. So, as you can see when we opened up the App Store, we got that little kind of shortcut there. Let's open up the clock so you can see it again. So when you press it, it just opens up there. Let's open up the clock too. So you can access them whenever you're doing anything, so that's really useful. So if you wanna close it, you just drag it there. This tweak is called Barrel, and what Barrel does is actually just puts effects or transitions whenever you swipe from one page to another. So let's see it in action. You can change the effects from the Barrel app, so I chose it at random, so it chooses at random. There are some cool effects that I love, but I love them all. This tweak is called Any Drop Tree, and what Any Drop Tree does is that it lets you send videos or images or anything like that from your root. So you just go to media and find the video or image that you want to send. So it's kind of airdrop, but you know, airdrop is limited um, to certain iPhones and iPads. So what AirDrop Tree does is that it takes airdrop to the next level. This tweak is called Camera Tweak Tree. And what Camera Tweak Tree does is that it gives you some options in your camera app. One of them is either manual focus or autofocus. The other one is for the ISO and the shutter speed. So if you're a photographer or anything like that, this is for you. And you can also get those little options over there. This tweak is called Double Tap to Sleep. And what Double Tap to Sleep does is, let's say for instance you don't like assistive touch on your screen or your lock button doesn't work like mine, you just double press your screen and just, just locks your device. So that's much really about Double Tap to Sleep. Sometimes 
SSF touch gets in the way in games and that stuff, so I prefer to use this tweak. This tweak is called custom messages and we all love sending messages and I messages and what does this tweak does is that it lets you to change the bubble color and customize it to any color you want and the text you send, background and that stuff. So let's just check it out. As you can see my background is green, not white as it usually is. So you can also change the text color and the bubble color but I didn't change them. So that's what's real about this tweak custom messages. This tweak is called Bounce Notify 8 and what Bounce Notify 8 does is that it makes your app which has a notification bounce up and down. So you can see my mail app there bouncing up and down because I have a, over 100,000 emails. So yeah, you just go to settings to choose how much bounce you want every second and that stuff. This tweak is called Alarm and what Alarm lets you to do is that it lets you turn all of your alarms on just one single tap. You know I have a bunch of alarms and if I'm crazy enough let's say I just want to turn them on and I want to do them one by one. Alarm gives you the option to turn them all on with just one single tap and slide. So you just want to turn them on just slide them if you want to turn them off just slide it again. So that's much really for this video guys, all prices, names of the tweaks and from where you can get them with repo, all of that information is down in the description box below. So if you like this video guys make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down there with any question and subscribe for more future content and make sure you check out next month's top 10 CDA tweaks. This is Melian from Leon's iPhone help and I'll catch you in the next video.